ったりオンサハナーバブトゥサハナオンプナクトゥサハビリアムカルバーバヘイテジャスウィナーバディータマストゥマーヴィトゥシャーバヘイヒオンシャンティシャンティシャンティヒハリオンシリグルピョーナマハハリオンバスデーバスタムデーバムカムサチャーノーダマーダナムデーバキーパーマーナンダムクリシナムワンデージャガーッグルムクリシナムワンデージャガーッグルムそう、We are in chapter 3 And、uh, this chapter is like the science of Karma Yoga basically. And Krishna Bhagwan has pretty much said a lot of different things about Karma Yoga. And the main thing he is saying is、uh, dedicate all actions to me. So basically, work in the world, but remember me. It's like almost like a sar of it, but there are many different aspects to it. So. Um, and he also talked about our Swadharma, the Prakriti, Swasya Prakriti, that what we are born with likes and dislikes, that nature expresses, and all he explained all those things. And he said that everybody follows their Prakriti, so we should have our duties in line with it, then it's very easy for us. But he also cautioned that when you have a duty and a path, then Don't come under the sway of your likes and dislikes. Focus on your path. So, that was another very important thing that he, he、uh, told us. Um, and, um, and he also said pretty strongly that it's, it's better to even die doing your own duty than to copy somebody else. And because it's, it, it's a, if you copy somebody else, then it is,、uh, you'll be fearful and all that, and certain things that he mentioned. We did all that. Verses also. You, you guys can hear me today, right? Properly?、Okay. Yes, we can、yeah. hear you. Yeah, because last time there was a problem, so I just want to make sure. Okay. So, after explaining everything that, you know, what is action, what kind of karmas to do, what happens if you don't do certain kind of karmas, what happens if you do all that he said, then Arjun had a doubt now. Okay. He had a question. So that's when this next verse starts with Arjun's doubt, which is all our doubt, also. You will see. And if you have already read about it, you will know what I'm talking about. If you have not, then you will see that how Arjun's doubt is pretty much what comes to our mind, also. So everybody can open their verse 36 of chapter 3, and I'm going to chant. Arjun Uvacha Atha Kena Prayukto Yam Papam Charati Purushaha Anichana Pivarshneya Baladivani Yojitaha Atha is now Kain is by which Prayuktaha impelled. It's the word like. As though by force, something is forcing us. That's where the connotation is of this word, prayukta. I am this, papam, pap, everybody knows sin. Charati does. Purushaha is man. Here, man is, is human being, man and woman both. Anichan, not wishing. You know the word itcha? Itcha se ye anichha aya hai. So, humko, humari itcha nahi bhi hai, to bhi hota hai kaam. That's what it means. Api is even. Varshneya is,、uh, he's calling Krishna that word, Varshneya, because Krishna was from Vrishni clan. Ek to hai Yadav Vansh bolte hai, aur dusra naam Vrishni bhi hai, koi Vrishni raja hoi honge, vagara unke, both famous. And、uh, I wanted to tell you that how they have used the psychology in Bhagavad Gita. Whenever Krishna Bhagwan says to Arjun certain different names, there are 10, 15, 20 names, dono ne ek dusre ko, kisi ne gina bhi hai, 40 or something. They tell each other different names depending on the context. 
ओके वेन कृष्ण भगवान को अर्जुन को प्रोत्साहित करना होता है तो बोलते हैं महाबा हो यू नो यूर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कम ऑन यू कैन डू इट एंड यहाँ पर अर्जुन उनको वार्षनेय बोल रहा है बिकॉज जैसे बोलते हैं ना कुल में एक कोई कुल का आदमी होता है एंड दे हैव सर्टन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर क्लैन एंड एंड दी यू नो चिल्ड्रन आर सपोज टू काइंड ऑफ बी रिस्पेक्टफुल टू दैट एंड फॉलो दैट एंड देन समाइम्स वेन यू डू सर्टन रॉन्ग थिंग्स देन जैसे वो कुल का कुछ कम हो जाता है यू नो सो ही जैसे सेंग कि जो कोई कुल का एक परंपरा होती है उसको निभाना चाहिए लेकिन कई लोग निभा नहीं पाते हैं सो ही सेंग दैट्स वाई दिस इज सिग्निफिकेंट ओवर हीयर दिस वार्ष नहीं है बिकॉज इस संबंध उसका कुल से है सो दैट्स द वार्ष नहीं है बलात इज बाय फोर्स इव एज इट वर नियोजित इज कंस्ट्रेंड सो बेसिकली वट इज टेलिंग ओवर हियर इज दैट देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स वी डू इन लाइफ हमारी इच्छा नहीं है उसको करने के लिए बिकॉज सम वे आर डीप इन साइड वी नो इट्स रॉन्ग बट फिर भी हम लोग कर देते हैं सो हमारा विजडम एक चीज बोलता है कि यू नो डू इट दिस वे बट अवर एक्शन आर डिफरेंट and all of us have experienced that and uh, we never feel happy doing it but something kind of compels us so his question is what is that that compels me you know um tell me what is that so let's go a little more deep into his in, into his question and he is use the word sin you know that why does a man commit sin um and sin is something that we have probably discussed before in vedanta sin is uh when you go against the grain of god like you are going uh, not towards uh, self realization away from it anything that takes you away from it becomes like a sin in there basically you no know, wrong actions we can do to simplify it we can call it uh, wrong actions so now his question is the way he worded his question was what is there in us that compels us to do it so so now let's look at it is the psychology over here because you know this this chapter 3 is like a full of psychology of karma and the deep psychology of mind how it works so so he's saying jaise ki uh, uh, what is it that compels us hum log uski baaton mein aa jate hain that's one way to look at it and second way of look at it is uh, that other for that force which he is talking about which works in us to makes us do the sin according to him hum usko mana nahi kar sakte hain so one of the swami he came up with a good analogy jaise ki koi king hai okay king ne kisi ko bola aise aise jaake karo aur us aadmi ka man nahi hai karne ka lekin phir bhi wo king ne bola iske liye usko karna padega See that feeling over there, where where it's like, hey, my mind is not here, but I have to do something. So, what kind of force is which is like a boss sitting inside me, telling me, you know, to to do this wrong thing, even though. So, and and the word over here is bala deva niyojita. It's like a by force, it's telling me to perform action. Okay, and then I think this is our experience of everybody, some time or the other in life that there are. certain thing that we will compromise even though we have a better wisdom inside but and this is called the disintegrated personality when when they are talking about hey in in spirituality we need to integrate our personality tumhara jo wisdom hai uske anusar chalna is integration of personality but mera mera intelligence kuch aur kar raha hai mera mind and body kuch aur kar rahi hai then it becomes a disintegrated personality so this is this is where this is coming from okay so and then you know there's a very famous uh, uh, story in mahabharat and i think i've told you this but this is the right context again so i will just repeat it that when krishna bhagwan was trying to samjhao duryodhan and tell him you know something about dharma and, and duryodhan tells krishna bhagwan krishna bhagwan you don't need to tell me what is right what is wrong i already know it i just cannot do it you know सो सो वही हाल यहाँ पर ये ये क्वेश्चन अर्जुन ने पूछा है बट उसका सार वही है कि भाई 
मालूम होते हुए भी मैं नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ क्या है वो फोर्स दैट्स वॉट इट इज इज आस्किंग सो इन वन ऑफ द स्वामी इज मैंशन डेट यू नो इन 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 भगवद गीता दे हैव गॉन वेरी डीप इन साइकोलॉजी इन इन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड दे हैव गॉन अप टू द माइंड एंड दैट्स अबाउट इट बट हियर इन भगवद गीता दे टॉक अबाउट बियॉन्ड माइंड ऑल्सो माइंड को भी काफ़ी उन्होंने किया है सो अभी कभी कभी क्या होता है कि यू नो समाइम दे कम अप विद सम न्यू रिसर्च अबाउट माइंड एंड इफ यू सीन अवर वेदांता इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर इट्स लाइक नो सरप्राइज यू नो सो to me that's very fascinating that we they have already gone so deep into all that so so bhagwan ne ye suna so basically um the question is that what is that thing so now bhagwan is going to answer so this this particular verse is kind of very small but very significant so let's read any question on what i all the things that i just said okay kon padhna chahta hai aaj I have to pick. <laughs> Sushil ji, Meena ji, there's nobody else. Okay, Meera ji wants to read. Okay, go ahead. Arjuna said, "But impelled by what does man commit sin, though against his wishes, O Vashniya, constrained as it were by force." following the tradition of the scriptures the disciple now asks a definite question upon the very theme of the discussion the very question shows that arjuna has to a large extent got over the hasty conclusions which he exhibited until the beginning of the second chapter he has become introspective and therefore conscious of certain forces working within himself that were ruining and obstructing the play of his own higher impulses the doubt is couched in such familiar words that it appears as though it is a doubt raised by some student of our own times so here he is just mentioning one more point about arjun that earlier in chapter 1 and and the beginning of chapter 2 he was more uh, extrovert he was looking at the whole uh, thing oh ye mere rishtedar hain ye hai wo hai ab wo introspective ban gaya you know means he's thinking about more inward uh, thing and he's he's uh, come out of that deep depression already and he's thinking now and and now when he's examining his own self he's realizing that that uh, uh, you know in the beginning he came to fight the war and then suddenly he doesn't want to fight so kuch gadbad andar hua hai na <laughs> बाहर का सिचुएशन तो चेंज नहीं हुआ उसका सो ही इज ट्राइंग टू इंक्वायर वट इज हैपनिंग इन साइड हेम एंड देन ही रियलाइज इज दर इज समथिंग दैट फोर्स इज अस टू डू वट वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू दैट्स वॉट इज टॉकिंग देर इज नो लिविंग मैन हु हैज नॉट इन हिमसेल्फ अ सफिशियंटली क्लियर कंसेप्शन ऑफ द गुड एंड द मेरिटोरियस एवरी वन अंडरस्टैंड इंटेलेक्चुअली वॉट इज राइट but it is only when it comes to action that one invariably gets tempted to do the wrong this paradoxical confusion between one's ideology and one's own actions becomes quite a big problem to all those who try to introspect and review themselves so we discussed it that that we you know and then in this class we have discussed if god is everywhere and that consciousness is within me I know all the it is deep within me is there and and so jaise hum log ne discuss kiya na ek chor bhi jab chori karta hai usko malum hai ki wo chori kar raha hai koi drug addict drug leta hai usko malum hai jo cigarette peeta hai usko malum hai ki it is bad for him but they they is very compelling right for them that's what it is we kind of everybody knows we have god has given us intelligence to think what is right and wrong but hamare mein wo strength nahi hoti hai ki hum usko follow kare phisal jate hain hum log So that's what it, the question is. Hmm. The divine in us, with its nobler aspirations, wants to fulfill itself with its higher impulses and subtler achievements. But the animal instinct in us go astray, and we walk the path of the baser joys of the flesh. This invariably happens even against our own wishes. Arjun is inquiring with the Lord. 
what is the exact nature of this devil in our bosom, which thus systematically loots away the good in us? Varshaniya is the name of Lord Krishna, meaning one born in the family of the Varshanis. And then I have this one sentence. The Lord says, listen. The Lord says, huh. listen, I shall tell you who that enemy is of whom you ask. Who is the source of all evil? Okay. So this was a pretty simple question, right? And uh, anybody has any question or comment on this question? Just one question. Yeah, sure. Uh, you are in a situation as this. You know what's right and wrong, but your duty is different, okay? Like Bhishmas, I'm thinking, or something. And so you go with the duty, or, or you know it's wrong and right, and yet you cannot. Be, is it the duty that is... So duty, be, see, see, Bira ji, uh, I mean, Meena ji. Duty may be, hum apni duty galat bhi define kar sakte hain. Jaise ki, you know, if you, if you watch Mahabharat, uh, the reason itna bada war hua, because people like Bhishma Pitama and Karna and the good people, the Vidur, the three people who are on, the, on that side, they had the capability to stop the war by, you know, punishing Duryodhan or doing whatever correct or when the Draupadi ka chira haran, haran ho ra tha, ta Bhishma Pitama could have. But, unhone apni duty, uh, conf if, if you take, see a bigger picture, they got confused about the duty. No, like I was watching this one program and they said no duty can be bigger than a woman's honor when she is being disrobed. So, you cannot say, oh, meri pratigya hai, wo sab tordne ko tiyar ho jau. Even Krishna Bhagwan says that, that when they call duty and dharma and all that, you have to have come up with that from your own wisdom, that what it is. And the higher you go in the spirituality, that wisdom gets stronger, bigger, better and better, you know. So, so... Well, was at such as, he knew everything. He, he was sort of, you know... He but knew everything, but to him is uh, Pratigya became bigger. Then, then the we, then the Lok Sangraha. So what 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 are we saying here? Is that is that I mean that is wrong. That isn't that. Or are we saying yeah, that from one what? one per perspective it was wrong, but because I think he had done so many great things in his life, you know nobody's perfect. I think that right. here basically based main focus of this particular thing is you can't go in like too much psychoanalysis because sabki duty alag alag hai. But some mm -hmm. ki me, jase Arjun ke saath hua, okay? In the beginning, Arjun was ready to fight this war. He knew that these guys are bad guys. I gotta go fight it, okay? Then usko mm -hmm. mo ho gaya to hi wo dushti dushti se dekhne laga sab kuch. Usko right. usme weakness aa gayi uske heart mein. They are talking mm -hmm. about that kind of weaknesses because okay. and and then what happens with the weakness, uh, Meena ji, is we justify our weaknesses, which which Arjun did in the chapter one. He was, he, wo apne weakness ke upar, he put a choga of, you know, goodness. Hey, you know, war is so bad and I'll kill everybody. My hands will be stained with blood and all. He forgot Lok Sangraha that, you know, hey, this, these guys are terrorists and terrorist king ban jayenge to sabhi ka nuksan ho jayega. Right? So, so, but he realized but his mistake. Didn't, he, he was, he didn't, he didn't know. Bhishma Pitama, he, that yes. things were going wrong. He knew, but right. even he, he, he looked at his pratigya as a bigger thing, which, which was a mistake Wrong. in some ways. Yeah. Right? If we, that's why the, when we talk about history, it's a learning lesson. No, but this, uh, this thing is related more to if the three shlokas before, when he talks about when you are born, you have the sattvic, rasic, tamsic ratios. And yes. that determines, you know, what your nature is going to be. Oh, yes. So, so the ratio of your sattvic may not be enough or your tamsic may be more or rajasic may be more. So which is making you do this? And that's the question he has is, why does anybody do that? See, when, when it comes to why now, he's have a little patience. He's going to go in an analysis. Why? It's coming next. 
<laughs> so don't worry about the why right now. Our just simple, just keep it simple. Keep it this way. In my life, there are things that I know are are wrong, and I still do them. Right. You know. Right. Of course. Yeah. I know. And I myself. think that. Ah, uh, kabi kabi kya hota hai Bhagavad Gita mein ham usko jada karte na to fir ham we lose what Krishna Bhagwan is saying. Keep it very simple because. When it comes to Bhagavad Gita, it's a personal journey. Abhi Bhishma Pitama ne kya kya wo kya wo wo jaane. He did finally got the moksha anyway. <laughs> but but you know what we need to do and our problem is hey, mujhe malum hai. Phir main kyu fissal rahi hoon? Abhi uska answer diya jayega. Okay, thank Let's you. Let's focus on that. Anybody else? Ha, bolye, Sheila ji. Unmute. So you want to read it? Yeah, sure. We can read it. Okay. Oh wait, no. Wait, we have to. We finish, no? Now I have to go first to the verse, Sheila ji. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah. No, this is okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go to thirty-seven. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Kama Esha Krodha Esha Rajoguna Samad Bhavaha Samad. Sorry. रजोगुण सम समुद्भव महाशनो महापापमा विद्येन मिह वैरिण यहाँ पर बोला श्री भगवान उवाच वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट इट्स नॉट सेइंग कृष्णा उवाच भगवदगीता डिक्लेरिंग श्री भगवान उवाच रिमेम्बर सो ही इज कृष्ण भगवान इज टॉकिंग ओव हियर एज अ सेल्फ रियलाइज सोल one who is completely in tune with that brahman is not krishna bhagwan the body talking is krishna bhagwan the brahman talking okay so everybody may have to remember that and that's where when the reverence come whatever he's saying is from the highest perspective uh, kama is desire it can be any desire it does not have to be material desire it can be i want this person to behave this way i want this circumstances to be like this you know because at our age we we don't care so much about the material stuff the other things bother us more so it's all desire can be any kind asha is this krodha everybody knows anger so desire and krodha and we'll see the connection between them rajoguna samad bhuva so here i mean uh, joe was talking about these gunas now i want to tell something about the gunas over here these gunas are going to be coming we are going to come across the entire bhagavad gita continuously guno ke bare mein wo bolenge aur dheere dheere usko kholenge and there is a entire chapter of gunas are there okay chapter 14 so so we will have to have a patience until we read the because if i start talking too much about the guna we will lose what we're trying to study over here so have a little patience and that's why it is so very important to at least go over bhagavad gita once thoroughly but then only it opens up he talking about the same concept but he's going to keep building upon it and then he will reach that in chapter 14 he's going to go the whole chapter is on gunas but i will try to do my best so rajoguna is the one which has activity in it okay so so how does this activity and all come first let me finish the rest of the words and then i will come back to it so uh, born of means this particular desire and anger are born of rajoguna that's what we have to understand you know udbhava means aise bahar nikalna you know prakat hona to usse prakat hota hai mahashana is all devouring means jaise bolte hai na ki voracious um, appetite it has it keeps eating that's called usko bolte hai mahashana ashana means to eat and mahashana means you know maha uh, this thing eating capacity maha pap ma pap we know sin maha pap usko matlab kafi bada unhone banaya or who is he talking about mahashana and maha pap ma the desire and anger are like that okay that these two are for that uh vidhi is to know enam this eha here means in this world in this world the anger and the um, desire or desire and anger let's put the desire first because desire comes up desire and anger in this world consider them to be mahapap 
uh, and Maha Ashan. And they are born of the Rajogun. That's what it means. And then Verinam. And we will go in deep into it why he called them. Verinam is Dushman. Okay. These are our two Dushman. Hai. Okay. So, so we will start from there. So um, let's look at now Kam and Krodh. And the way he worded it. He called it Kama Esha Krodh Esha. He didn't say Kam and Krodh. This, he said, Esha means this. This is Kam and this is Krodh. Means he's calling them same. They are almost like um, two sides of the same coin. That's where it's coming from, Kam and Krodh. Why? First comes Kam. Kam means desire. And if we go back, I don't know if you remember the ladder of fall that we did in chapter 2. How does a Kam... It is like a ek vichara time one me because of our likes and dislikes. We, we like something. Let's take a simple object right now. I, it is object and how I want people to behave this way. I want circumstances with this way. It doesn't matter. Let's take object because that's easier to give for an example. Object liya, abhi main uske baare mein sochne lagi aur main continuously soch rahi uske baare mein. You know, dusra kaam chhod ke soch rahi hoon mein, uske baare mein. To wo ek uh, uh, stronger desire ban jati hai. Usko attachment bolte hai. Attachment ka Swami ji ne bhoat achha diya hai. I plus I want. First comes my ego, me. I plus kar do, I want this. That becomes attachment. So jab attachment ban jata hai na, fir I become मैं अधीर हो जाती हूँ कि मैं को वो ऑब्जेक्ट मिल जाए। तो वो अधीरता जो हो जाती है तो वो एक क्लिंगिंग डिजायर बोलते हैं इंग्लिश में, राइट? क्लिंगिंग डिजायर बन जाती है। क्लिंगिंग डिजायर बन जाती है, तो अब मुझे लगता है कि उस चीज के बिना मैं अधूरी हूँ, और और मेरे मन में विचार or you can say it, dislike also. I don't want this. I want this to get out of my life or away from me. Okay, both ways. It, it can work. A strong desire can work both ways. So, so when it becomes like that, then what happens is anything or anyone or any situation comes in between me and my desire. Some obstruction that comes in between. That is anger. Then anger rises. So the same energy that was uh, in the desire, clinging desire, takes the form of an anger. It's got diverted to become anger. And in the ladder of fall, it was, you know, just to remind what had happened. After anger, you have a loss of memory. Your mind becomes clouded. You cannot think. That's why people, when they get angry, samne koi bhi ho. Ek swami ne bola, bhagwan bhi aajai na samne. Us pe bhi lad padho ke tum. Us pe bhi gussa aega tumko. Because you guru ho, mata pita ho, best friend ho, bachche kuch nahi tumko samaj me aega. You will just lash out at them. You know. So, because vivek buddhi chali gai hai. Okay. And uh, one of the Swamis did another very great analysis of, of this. Because see, what happens is in Bhagavad Gita, it's, it, it's a subtle language. It's a coded language. One uh, verse has so much in it, so, many, so much in it. So other Swamis who are like, whose mind is quiet and all, they can analyze it and bring it out for us. You know, because it is in a coded language. And that's why I was saying that sometimes certain mantras of some you know, like um, Gayatri Mantra, for example. We may know one meaning and it might have 200 other aspects in it. You know, we cannot say ki kisi ne bola wo galat. No, all of them are right because there is so much loaded stuff in there that, that we don't have the capacity to open it up, but, you know, other people do. Um, so, Kaam or Krodh Kaam I I'd slipped my mind what that Swami was saying. It will come back to me. So basically, Krodh, we, we lose our discrimination and we 
वी स्टार्ट सेंग एनी थिंग एंड रजो गुण के बारे में हाँ हाँ अभी याद आया मुझे क्या बता दी सो ही सेट कि तीन गुण होते हैं ना वन इज अ सत्तो गुण सत्तो गुण में क्या होता है वी वेन वी सिट क्वाइटली इन अ मोर मेडिटेटिव मूड वी आर इंट्रोस्पेक्टिव इन इन सत्तो गुण वी आर लुकिंग इन वर्ड इन सत्तो गुण वेन रजो गुण बिकम्स प्रधान एंड आई आल एक्सप्लेन वट हैपन्स इन रजो गुंड एंड हाउ इट बिकम्स प्रधान वी वी लुक आउटवर्ड्स हमारा ध्यान बाहर की तरफ चला जाता है so we start looking at people and you know situation and objects and things like that that's the problem that happens so with with these gunas the entire prakriti is made of all three gunas and as i think i had mentioned this also before we have all three gunas in us and then we were talking about proportions i think last time uh, it was shireen shireen is here today yeah shireen is here for you thought that we are born with the same proportion no we are born with different proportion but this is not a fixed thing in us in one day you know we can we can be satoguni at one time rajoguni at another time tamoguni at another time okay proportion changes they are they all are together but the one that is um expressing with us the other two get behind it they are not available for us at that time see what i'm trying to say it's like three different things but one of them is is uh, working right now so when the when the rajogun is working you know the satogun is not available at that moment that's why the person start screaming shouting and all because satogun is not available in introspection is not available and all that rajogun mein he is like angry upset and things like that okay so that's how you have to look at it that rajogun pradhan ho gaya because krishna bhagwan ne bola na this is born out of rajogun but it is like a catch 22 it is born out of rajogun and anger and and desire increase rajogun also that's why in the end krishna bhagwan is going to say that you rise above the gunas because if you stay in it it feeds on each other the action will it will create more rajoguna and all that okay that's why you have to stay apart from it like a witness then you uske clutches come hote hain guno ke clutches come hote hain so everybody kind of understood what i'm saying about the three gunas that when one is one is acting up the other two are behind so our job is to try to bring the sato guna more because sato guna is more we will be more kind we will be more sensitive will be more introspective you know और रजोगुण में ही बैठे रहेंगे तो ये काम एंड क्रोध भटता जाता है ओके दैट्स वन पॉइंट एंड एंड लाइक अनदर एग्जांपल ही गेव ही सेड कि सपोज यू आर सिटिंग वेरी पीसफुली एंड ऑल दैट यू आर इन सतोगुण सडनली यू नो समथिंग हैपन सम विचार कम्स एंड यू बिकम रजोगुणी एंड यू गेट अप एंड स्टार्ट डूइंग एंड ही गेव द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑफ रावण इसे रावण अपने दरबार में बैठा था आराम से और वो शुरू पर खाने आके और शुरू कर दिया कि भाई वो वो सीता जी सो ब्यूटीफुल एंड यू शुड हैव हर एंड ऑल तो बस उसी में बह गया वो राइट right? वो उसकी कामना इतनी स्ट्रांग हो गई कि उसका डिस्ट्रक्शन ही हो गया एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल फ्रॉम अवर सो ही जस्ट टेलिंग यू दैट दैट अगर वो डिज़ायर ने तुमको जकड़ लिया तो इट विल टर्न इन क्रोध एंड एज आई सेट दैट डिज़ायर एंड एंड क्रोध आर द सेम थिंग यू नो जस्ट डिफरेंट um expression of it but the energy is the same okay um and then he said let's look at this words mahashano and mahapapma so mahapapma do we know it's like a great sin but mahashano desire he said ek desire ko fulfill karo na thodi der ke liye humko shanti milti hai immediately dusri desire pakad leti hai you know and kabhi kabhi ulti desire bhi hoti hai and i remember this this i thought this was really interesting drishtant this swami said ki ek aadmi aaya mere paas aur kehta swami young fellow you know like in his 20s it seems swami ji swami ji bless me that i want to buy a mercedes you know okay i bless you mercedes usko mil bhi gayi you know and then he became very happy he came oh swami ji i got the mercedes fir ek hafte ke aake bolta hai swami ji swami ji bless me that i get rid of this mercedes is kya hua bola oh it's such a problem to keep it you know i cannot park i'm always worried about it you know it costs so much money to do the oil change ye wo jo bhi hai so he said ki it's like 
a person is never satisfied. I think that's the point he was trying to say. But what happens is that things that we like, if we get it, we want more of it. You know, a simple example that, that one of the Swamis gave was, you go someplace, you know, ek laddu khaya. Bohut achha laga. Oh, this is so good. Do teen aur jeb mein dal diye. Baad mein ja ke mein khaungi. You know, it turns into, desire turns into greed when, when you like something. And if you don't get something, and if other person gets it, it turns into jealousy. So the main uh, culprit over here is desire. It expresses as many different things. Anger, greed, jealousy, pride. Pride is like a, if, if I get something and the other person doesn't have it, I feel very proud, you know. And, and he was saying this, Swamiji was saying that how in this world, Pride ko hum log bohut achha maante hai koi koi. Oh, because andar thodi achhe ji feeling hoti hai. You know, but from the spiritual perspective, both are bad, according to him. You know, because sometimes, you know, even parents will tell their children, Oh, you came number one, very good. And say, oh, baki log bohut jalte hoenge, jinko nahi mila hoga. Good, good, good. Like we, we kind of encourage wrong kind of, you know, from the spiritual perspective, wrong kind of thinking. So it's like a mathematics of emotion. It's, it's very precise, all these things. But the main thing he's telling over here is Kama Esha, Krodha Esha. Because these two are the, like, the main things and others are the children of it. They are born of Rajogon and they are, uh, you know, like I was telling, desire never gets satisfied. The more, just a, more fuel you put, or bhadakti jati hai. The desire may be bilkul vesa hi hota hai. Jase akhanda agni, jisko bolte hai na, Kitna bhi dalo, wo khati jayegi. Fire never says, oh, don't stop, stop it right now. Yahan par fire nahi bola hai isko, great eater bola hai. Magar later on in one of the verses, he actually calls it desire as a fire, you know, which never gets satisfied. And, and then the next thing is also very important. He called calm and krod as, as verinam, meaning enemies. If you guys remember, in the previous verses where he was talking about likes and dislikes, he, he called them roadside robbers. He called them paripanthinao. So what is the difference between paripanthinao and, and, and enemy? Roadside robber ko tumare se koi anim animosity nahi hai. Correct? He's just looking for opportunity. You are just going on your road peacefully. You're going somewhere. They find the opportunity. They have nothing against you, but they want your stuff. So basically, they'll attack you, take your stuff, and they you are lose your sight of where you want to go. You get all upset. It's like they loot away your peace. Let's look at it that way. Your peace, happiness, your goal, uh, all those things get disturbed. That was likes and dislikes. If you don't stop at likes and dislike, and usko hawa dete jao likes ko or dislike ko by constantly thinking about them and, and coming under their sway. Remember he said, don't come under their sway. If you, if you come under their sway, they turn into calm and growth. And then, then they become your enemy. See how scientific it is? Enemies are a lot worse because they are after you a lot more. You know, enemy will chase you even afterwards. Paripantino will drop you. Once you're gone from their road, you have no fear of those guys, you know? But if, if they become your enemy, you have a fear with them because they will, they will haunt you. That's what has happened. So calm and growth is nothing but likes and dislikes have turned into that. Calm and growth. So the more you indulge in them, this is what happens. That they calm and grow. This is where the whole verse is, is telling you that uh, don't give that much importance to your likes and dislikes. They will turn into calm and growth then it is a lot, lot harder to get rid of them, the enemy. And the next few verses are also very, very amazing because he's going to go into a deeper science of it, what it is. In fact, Arjun ne ek prashna pucha, ki, you know, what is that compels us to do sin? Krishna Bhagwan ne usko kai verses mein answer diya hai. This is just the basic in this one. He's going to go deeper psychology. That, you know, and how to get rid of it, he's going to tell you also. Okay. 
So that's where what it is. Okay, so any question on this? Any question, comment, or add a point? And I hope you guys um, understood about um, the gunas, that ha what happens with the gunas that, you know. Okay, I'm trying to see if there is anything. Okay. Yeah, I think that one, one, one thing that one of the Swami said, I, I made my some notes over here. He said ki, um, jab, um, intense calm aa jata hai na, to sato gun to piche chala jata hai. Rajo gun aa gaya. Aur phir na, he's saying that gunda raj. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's like everything goes. <laughs> I thought that was a very, very, very good uh, example that he gave about this, this thing, you know. Okay. All right. Shilaji wanted to read, right? If nobody has any question, we can go. If you have, then read. I, I wanted to add something. Huh, bolia. Um, you know, when um, we were talking about um, Satgun, Raj, Rajgun, and uh, Tamsigun, hmm. uh, we were saying, you were explaining that um, in Satgun, we go, we interiorize, we evaluate inside. Hmm. And in Tamsik and Rajsigun, we become extrovert. We, we, um, no, in Rajasik, you become extrovert. Tamasik, you become dull. So, so yeah, there is a little more distinction. So, say, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. We, um, in Tamasik, we start analyzing outer situations negatively. In Rajasik, we, we become, um, we come out of interiorization we start looking at the world and we start enjoying it. But in Tamsik, we become even negative. See, what Tamsik and, does is, Tamsik ka main thing hai na, usko bolte avaran. Avaran, sabko samaj mein hai, like covering. Tumhari buddhi ko dhak deta hai wo. Iska matlab ki, jo achhi cheez hai, wo buri dhak 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 lagti hai. Tamsik mein sab ulta ulta kaam karte hai log. Okay, jo achha, that's what, so I think what you're saying is true. That Tamsik mein, and that's why I said that, that it's ka science abhi bharta jai ga aage, but uh, yeah. true, yes. Anything okay. else? Kamala ji? That's it. Haan. Haan. So, so I, this, this is very interesting and you know like, it's going to come in chapter 14. Swami ji ne bhoat acha example diya. Bola ki, jase ki, ye jo gun hai na, ye hum log ko pata nahi kaun sa gun rise ho raha hai waise haan, hum log ka. Only jab iska expression hota hai, tab hum ko malum bharta hai. Ki ye kya gun rise ho hai, okay? So we have to look at the expression and we have to be like a witness to watch ki bhai, aisa ho raha hai. And if I know the science of it, I have a better chance of changing the gunas a little bit. Changing meaning uh, bringing the sato guna more, practicing that way. Meko malumi nahi hai kya ho raha hai, to fir kya hoga? That's why tamasik gun is actually very dangerous when the tamas is very strong because us aadmi ko kuch samaj mein nahi aata hai. कुछ कितना भी तुम ज्ञान तो समझ में ही नहीं आएगा उसको पर वो एक्टिविटी से भी दूर भागता है ही इज लाइक यू नो जैसे कि एक परफेक्ट एग्जांपल तामसिक गुण में पड़े हैं बिस्तर के ऊपर आई डोंट फील लाइक गेटिंग अप आई डोंट वांट टू नो एनीथिंग दैट इज तामसिक राजसिक इज आई वांट टू डू दिस आई वांट टू डू दैट जैसे बोलते हैं ना अमेरिका में रजोगुण बहुत प्रधान है हम लोग यहां से वहां वहां से यहां भागते ही रहते हैं वी कीप एडिंग थिंग्स ऑन ऑन यू नो बेकार की चीजें वी कीप डूइंग जैसे हमारी टीचर बोलती थी ह्यूस्टन में किसी को बुलाते हो खाना बनाते हो बीस यू नो बना के रख देते हो ऐसा कंपटीशन हो जाता है उसने दस बनाया तो मैं पंद्रह बनाऊंगी मैं ये करूंगी मैं वो करूंगी ऑल दैट इज राज वाई डू नीड टू डू दैट यू नो दैट्स व्हाट इट इज एंड सात्विक इज ऑफकोर्स यू नो मोर लूमिनस मोर इंट्रोस्पेक्टिव मोर शांत मोर ऑल दैट सो दैट्स दैट्स हाउ इट इज बट एज वी गो वी विल लर्न मोर एंड मोर ओके any any other thing anybody wants to say okay shila ji you can read verse okay, 37 the blessed lord say it is desire it is anger born of the active uh, all devouring all sinful no this as the foe here in this world it is desire it is anger 
Desire is the inner devil in the individual bosom. We have seen earlier that desire is nothing other than our own spiritual ignorance, expressing itself in our, our inter intellectual personality. This statement in this danger is not to be understood as enumerating two different things. Desire itself under certain circumstances gains expression as anger. A constant agitation of the mind expressing as an uncontrollable impatience to gain something is called desire. Desire is generally for something other than ourselves. In the clash of existence, being and circumstances may come between ourselves and the objects of our desire. And in such case, our desire impulses sticking at the obstacle gain the ugly look of anger. Striking at the obstacle. Okay. So one thing okay. that for us take home a message over here is whenever we are angry, self-analyze it, you will know that it's your own desire over there. Because a lot of times we think, oh, our anger is justified. And one of the Swami says, there's no such thing. <laughs> you know, the more, if you have a desire, it's going to turn into anger. So, so that's why the same sense 